Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jeff coming at you with another edition of Mindset Monday. And today I wanted to review a book called The Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol. Now, this book is pretty old. It was written or published, I believe, in 1948. And it has a lot of real, like, older references to things. And it's kind of like not very direct in the language that he uses in the writing that he uses. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you rush out and buy this book and read it cover to cover or anything like that. Um, I, I did get the audible and the way I came across this book was Tony Robbins mentioned it in an interview. Somebody was asking him about the top three books that he would recommend or something like that. And this was at the top of his list. So I just listened to it on audible and that was fine for me but you may want to read it. You may want to listen to it, or you may want to just look at notes or this video may be enough for you. So basically the concept that Claude states in the book is he's really referring a lot to the subconscious mind and subconscious mind programming. And that what you um, desire to see brought forth is limited only by your subconscious mind. And that the only thing that's separating you from your desired outcome is the maybe hesitation and fear or other programming that you have in your subconscious. And that it's really the, you know, your subconscious is the elementary force of belief and that success is just a matter of, of dedication and belief. Um, and that's where the root of knowledge, fame, power, happiness, and success, they all come from the same source. This, subconscious mind programming and that we're all equal in that regard but we have the choice of seeing life and seeing our situation from a negative point of view or a positive point of view and when we start to have more intention behind how we see the world around us then everything that we do and see and feel it's all going to be filtered through our five senses and subplanted into our subconscious mind based on that basic belief system that we have and over time this is going to add up to make a massive difference in the results that you can see brought forth in your in your life so he goes into examples of people like napoleon like i can't remember the exact story but it was when he was born, he was a young child, somebody gave him like some kind of like an amulet or some kind of a, a, a seal of the family or something like that and told him you're destined to be the leader of the country. And he just believed it from the time he was a child that that was what was supposed to happen because it was ordained by this, by this thing that, you know, one of his relatives told him and, you know, as he went through his life, it was, he always had that focus. That was the belief that he had in his mind and he brought it forth because to him, it was just a matter of time or a matter of overcoming the challenges in his way. And that was his destiny. So there are other examples that um, Claude states in this book. And I think it's, it's really interesting to see how you know, people like Alexander the Great or, or others, you know, other people who have really um, done big things, whether they're in integrity or the things that you would want to do or beside the point, but it basically gives you the sense that this belief is so powerful and your subconscious is so powerful. Like this can make the difference between you achieving the goals that you want and not or not. And for me, I've seen this, I've mentioned it a little bit um, in the past on lives or maybe even in Mindset Mondays where <clears throat> in the beginning it was like, when I first started kind of um, coming more into the entrepreneurial world, I had left corporate and I'd always been an entrepreneur in the corporate world and then became an entrepreneur. And it was, you know, a process of really clarifying what I wanted for myself, you know, without having a corporate paycheck every, every two weeks and all of that. It's like, well, I have to actually think about, you know, these things a little bit deeper and get a lot more clarity on how I'm going to spend my time and energy. And so for me in the beginning, it was difficult to even not only get the clarity around that, but to speak that clarity out loud. It was like, it was almost like um, I, there was fear or doubt. There was so much fear and doubt around it that it was difficult to even speak it out loud. So 
I'm a very physical person. I've always been very physical. So I try to, I think that my emotions and my emotional state is like written into my, 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 uh, my physicality. And so back in those days, I was doing a lot of yoga and I was living in California close to the beach. So the yoga studio was like basically across the street from the beach. I would do uh, yoga and then I'd go run on the beach. And as I'm running down the beach, it's like, I was yelling out loud because the waves and everything, like a lot of noise, like nobody can hear me. And I'm just like yelling out loud, like these affirmations and these different goals and dreams that I have for myself, because that was the first step for me is to be able to speak that stuff out loud, to be able to speak it out loud in a way that I felt empowered behind it. And then the next step was once I spoke it out loud enough, then it became, um, a belief. And I just believed it. I was like, yeah, I just, I just believe that like, that's what's going to happen. Or that's the way I see things, or that's the perspective that I have, or that's the confidence that I have or whatever. And then even, even more recently, I've started tuning into the fact that going beyond even belief is just being that thing. So it's like, I, I speak it, I believe it, I am it. And so I think that's for me anyway, that's like the next level stuff is like when all of those things that um, you, you want in your life or that you see for yourself, like, that's just what you are. That's just who you are. And that's when you really start making the most, um, the most progress and impact in, you know, towards those dreams, or at least that's what I've found. So when we think about this in terms of like what we're doing in our lead gen business or in the digital marketing space, um, Claude talks a lot about visualization and repetition and that these are the the keys to the success and to, you know, bringing these dreams into reality. So the way I understand it and the way I approach it in my own life is like this visualization, again, it gets you clarity visualization. You could also um, journaling is also another great practice to either support visualization or to um, you could use one or the other, but both preferably, I think um, are, you know, is really powerful process to go through because that forces that clarity. And so it's less about just being like, Oh, I want this specific number of zeros in my bank account, or I want this, I want to, I want a nice car, you know, like that's so general. Um, You would really probably get a lot more out of it. If you, if you clarify in your mind, like these very specific things. So a lot of people right now, they're so hyped on Tesla's. They want a Tesla. So I was like, okay, well, I just want a Tesla. That's so general, right? Like get into the mindset or the practice rather of visualizing or writing, journaling about this Tesla. I was like, go into detail. Like what year is it? What model is it? What color is it? What does the interior look like? What is it? What does it feel like when you get in the car? What does it feel like when you put your hands on the leather? What are you going to see on the screen? What buttons are you going to push? Where are you going to drive it? What all of these different you know nuances and details are going to allow you to emotionally connect in a way that you wouldn't otherwise if you're just randomly saying, oh, "I just want a Tesla," right? Like bring those emotion emotions up, change your state of being, and feel those emotions that you're going to feel when you're in that car, and then you're going to be able to connect to that energy in a much more powerful way. Same thing with if I say I I want a million dollars, or I want to make a million dollars a year or whatever. Well, what is it that you are going to do to make that million dollars? What is it that you're going to do with that million dollars? What are you going to spend it on? What are each of these items? What are the places that you're going to go? What are, who are the people you're going to be able to make an impact on when you have this money? In what way are you going to make that impact? You know, are you going to be able to provide jobs for people in your family, you know, um, work or help people, um, who are around you in your network, for example, you're going to be able to provide a way for them to make money, to improve their skill sets, to provide for their families. Like what, what are all these things? And instead of keeping it so general, make it more detailed, but on the other hand, or the other side of that, like don't get so stuck on the details that you can't be flexible. Like if, um, you know, because along the journey um, towards these dreams and goals that you have, like things are going to change. Things are you're, you're going to change, you know, your desires are going to change. These things are not going to be 
um, you know, so static that you need to be inflexible. They shouldn't be so static that you're going to be inflexible. In other words, you're going to go with the flow, stay in flow, take advantage of the opportunities that you have um, and, and all of that. And to be able to, um, you know, modify these things as you go along so that you're continuously looking um, up forward and to a bigger and better version. I, I've seen this in my own life. The more that I've been able to get from this place of I can say it, I can believe it, and then I can be it, the more open I am to the opportunities that come up, to the relationships that I'm able to build, to um, you know everything in my life. I'm just more open to it. I'm more in flow about it. So then these things just start to happen more and more. So when you relate it to your your legion journey and all of that, I think it's very important to um, set these things out. We've talked a lot about productivity. We've talked a lot about, um, you know, writing down your goals and all of that. And so this is just another way to look at it from another perspective about, you know, again, the belief that it's true because your subconscious is really what's going to allow or disallow that to be brought forth. And so, if you take it one step further than that into this sort of like the believing I am kind of a, a phase. Um, and this is where the book kind of goes into more of an intangible um, perspective on this that I think a lot of people would say, oh, like, where's the science and all of that. You know, a lot of people are so hyped about Tesla and Tesla cars and all of that. Well, if you look back about, you know, and look at Tesla, Nikola Tesla and his life and his understanding of the universe and the world around him and how he was able to have the ideas that he had, it was really because he was actually trained in Vedic um, history and Vedic concepts and teachings. And they're all based on energy and frequency and vibration. Tesla has a famous quote that says, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy frequency and vibration. And in all of the things that I've learned in my life is that we are energy, frequency, and vibration. So when you have these things, um, these beliefs and these like sort of I am feelings that are in your subconscious mind, you're literally like that frequency is radiating out, radiating out into the universe and attracting those things back to you. So in the same way that the negative attracts a negative, the positive attracts a positive, and the dreams that you have, the more details that you have around those dreams, the more you're going to attract that back to you. So that's basically the mindset is just an awareness of this intentional state of being in this intentional way that, you know, the more that I kind of grow as a person, it's all about awareness. And I've become aware of programming and patterns that I have in my own behaviors and my own thought processes in the own in the way that I um, that I believe what is possible or not possible in my life and and I confront those and reprogram through a whole bunch of different practices state change being one of them into um, a, the a more um, tailored version of how I want myself to be and how I want myself to show up in the world so I think this is really important as we are all entrepreneurs, we're all responsible for our own successes or failures. And that mindset is really, really everything, right? And so again, magic of believing, it, it really is magic, but I, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you um, run out and buy this book, but it's definitely an interesting concept. And the more that I read in the personal development space. And the more that I hear the concepts, they're all related. Like it all comes back to like subconscious mind programming and all of that. And I've tuned in a lot to Joseph Rodriguez. I've mentioned him on other lives and, and he's really big into this stuff too. And really advances my awareness and understanding of it in ways that I never thought were possible. So anyway, that's my mindset Monday for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, just getting clarity on the goals that you have for yourself in your lead gen journey or in your digital marketing or entrepreneurial journey and what you want to see brought forth, get your mindset right so that you can get that programming into your subconscious and see those things uh, into reality and bring them into reality 
with the skills that you build along the way. So have a good week. Take care. I'll see you on the next one.